All right, so Paul writes in, he and his wife are 37 years old. He'd been investing in American funds for a while. I'm not sure how long exactly. He says he'll probably continue to invest uh, for another 25 years until he hits the, uh, the bright young age of 62 where he retires. And he just wants to know what my thoughts. Should he just go all in uh, with an index fund? Keep doing American funds? You know, what do I think? Well, I've shared with you before, I'll share with you again. I'm a fan of American funds. I really am. I got no qualm with American funds at all. The only, uh, my only consideration is that you are paying a front end commission unless you're buying it through a 401k plan or an employer sponsored plan. If it's through an employer sponsored plan, you're not paying commissions, uh, which, which is good. If you're buying it through like an individual guy through a Roth IRA or a simple IRA, I don't know, does anyone even do simples anymore? A SEP IRA. Um, you know, something like that, then you're paying a, most likely through a guy like Ed, Ed Jones guy, um, which in case you're paying a commission. And that commission is a decreasing amount depending on how much assets you have in there. So I think it's like five and a half percent on a, you know, up to 25,000 uh, bucks to nothing once you get over a million. So it does drop the more assets you have in there. Um, uh, I, I, I just like American funds. I'm, I'm a fan of them. I think they've done great since well, going back to 1934, I think is when the Investment Company of America came out. So, so I got no qualm with American funds. You know, ideally, I'd rather you didn't pay in commissions, though. So if you had your choice between uh, American funds versus Vanguard and the, it was a commission versus a non-commission, well, I'd go Vanguard. There's no other way around that just because I like you having more of your money. Um, I get no qualm with people making money on investment fees, none whatsoever. The issue, though, of course, is that uh, that's money that could have been invested for you. So, I don't know. Uh, Paul says he's a keep it simple guy. So, I, I would, if, if you have American funds through a 401k plan, there's no commission, just stick with them. I get no qualm at all. If you have American funds where you're paying a commission, and uh, let's say you have less than $100,000 in there, all told, I'd probably just go to Vanguard, man. Uh, you know, I, I, now you might be getting some valuable advice for the commissions you're paying. I, I suspect probably not, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and you know, that's going to seem like a I'm, I'm uh, hammering on the sales force of uh, people who sell American funds. I'm not. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not sure it's worth you know, five and a half percent, five percent, you know, three and a half, two and a half, or whatnot. So. My, my thought process now, we just go to, Amer just go to Vanguard, uh, buy the index and be done with it. But if you have American funds with a decent amount in there, say over 250, I yeah, just stick with American funds. I know that doesn't make sense, but once you have that sort of threshold above, I think it's once you hit 250, I think the, the commissions are less than two and a half percent. And let's just say you're putting $10,000 a year in there. I and mean, that's only you know, 250 bucks, right? On 10,000 bucks. Yeah, that's not that bad. So I guess it depends on how much you have in there, but uh, I, I know I know this isn't really helpful. But if it's less than 100,000 bucks, I'd probably go with Vanguard. More than 250, I'd probably go with stay with American funds because you're already there. If you have it through your 401k where there's no uh, commission whatsoever, I just stick them out. Stick with American funds. I got no qualm with that at all. Hope this helps. Thanks.